a shilling's worth of crop produce this year due to floods. Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture and Livestock Peter Munya told the Senate Committee on Agriculture that 83,000 hectares of land under crops was affected by flooding in 29 counties. Munya, however, noted that the national food security is fairly stable and that the prevailing weather is conducive for agricultural production in high potential counties. According to the Minister of Agriculture and the National Disaster Operations Center, 29 counties were ravaged by floods that affected 88,500 households and damaged crops. Consequently, the country is expected to lose an estimated 13.6 billion shillings worth of crop produce this year. Munya says despite the COVID-19 pandemic restrictions, adequate food is available in all markets and food prices have remained steady for all major food staples like maize, beans, rice, wheat and Irish potatoes. According to Munya, as at 1st May 2020, there was an estimated stock of 12.2 million 90 kilogram bags of maize, 4.5 million bags of beans, 2.9 million bags of wheat and 1.1 million bags of rice. Food balance sheet projected to end of July 2020 show a surplus of 1.9 million bags of maize, 4.3 million bags of beans, 2 million bags of wheat and 412,000 bags of rice. The available maize balances is sufficient up to the end of this month. We usually have a deficit. We never produce enough maize for the country. So we rely on imports from the East African region. Kenyans on average consume 4.3 million bags of maize per month, adding to a total annual consumption of 2 million bags of maize. Munya says the government allowed the private sector to import 2 million bags of white and yellow maize each after it anticipated a shortfall in the months of June and July. One of the other challenges we have is we compete with animals on white maize. And that's why we always have a tool. We allowed uh, 2 million bags of, of yellow maize to be imported by processors, those who process animal feed. And uh, we imposed a 10% duty on that maize. Then we allowed the yellow maize to be imported, uh, 2 million bags attracting 14% duty. The reason we did that was we calculated the cost of importing and transportation from Mombasa, and we realized we, we fixed uh, we realized well, this maize will arrive here and it will be selling at 3,000 shillings. Munya defended the dissolution of the Strategic Food Reserve Trust Fund and transfer of its functions to the National Cereals and Produce Board. It is a separate gazette notice that came from nowhere that created a separate institution called SFR. So what we are doing is correcting that anomaly so that NCBB become what it was envisioned to be. Muya says the minister has procured 72 metric tons of rice seeds that will be distributed to farmers who lost their rice crop through flooding. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says the desert locust remains a threat to food security and livelihoods in the Horn of Africa. In Kenya, the second generation swamps are present in Turkana and Marsabit counties. It is estimated that at least 40% of the crop area will be lost to the locust infestation and expose households to food and nutrition insecurity. Patrick Amimo, KTN News. Before we take a break, let's remind you of our big key tonight.